So the word is it ain't over yet. HP's purchase of 3Com this week isn't the last of the M&A deals that we'll be seeing in the tech space. In fact, as our Sheila Dharmarajan tells us, other big names may be on the prowl to fill in their missing spaces, and it looks like it's something out of the one-stop shopping theme. That's exactly right. So tech analysts, they say there's this theme of consolidation and one-stop shopping. So this is where IT companies are going to provide both the hardware and the software sides of things. And you know, it's interesting. Mark Moskowitz, he's from JP Morgan, he recently wrote that he thinks there's only going to be three big players left and he handicaps Hewlett Packard HP IBM and Cisco as the big three standing left and it's interesting because when you look at each of these big threes and you look at their portfolio of IT hardware and software they each have a couple of areas of weaknesses so for example HP Shaw Wu from Kaufman Brothers he told us that look they just bolstered their networking with this purchase of 3Com but they're still pretty weak on the software side so BMC software or Citrix could make interesting acquisitions mm. to you know round out that portfolio and then when you look at IBM clearly a leader on the services side and it's you know it's a big question for them because they got out of the hardware space a few years ago so do they want to get back in if right. they decide they want to get back in networking could be a space to look at and you know analysts pointed to Juniper could be one to look at and lastly, when you look at Cisco, they are the number one on the networking side, but they're very weak on that services side. So, you know, Shaw had mentioned that CSC or Accenture could make interesting acquisition targets. But the big issue for them is networking has such high margins right now. If they were to get in the services side of the business, it's a question of margin dilution. So it's going to be a big toss up for them to see if they really want to expand that portfolio there. And that would, of course, drive re-rating of their valuation as well. Exactly. What would drive the consolidation overall of uh, in, within the tech industry? You know, so there's two themes happening here. The first one is growth. Look, you know, as you start to get bigger and bigger, posting those growth numbers gets harder. So companies are moving outside of these niche verticals into the adjacent verticals. And the second one, it's being customer driven. Technology is getting far more complicated these days. Clients don't necessarily want to deal with four or five vendors. They'd rather deal with one or two. Mm, so they're actually right. driving a big part of this one-stop shopping trend. All right. Customer demand, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shiller Dharmarajan.